Hi everyone! So after about 7 months of waiting, Samsung has finally released the Android Oreo update for the Galaxy Note 8. Google is already releasing Android P, but you know, Samsung is always the last to join the update party. Well I got the update on my Note 8 and there are some pretty exciting new features that made this device no much different from the new Galaxy S9. So besides the snappier performance and the smoother animations, I'm giving you 8 new interesting features that you will surely enjoy. Number 1 is reading notifications from the app badge. A new addition to the notification settings is actually interesting. You know when you have a notification, you get it also on the app badge. This small red number on the app icon. Well, with the new update, you can actually read the notification without opening the app. You just press and hold the icon, then a preview will be shown to quickly see what's up. You can also dismiss it from there. A handy feature to quickly check what's up without opening the app. To activate this on the new Samsung experience, go to the settings, notifications, app icon badges, then activate show notification feature here. The second feature is also with notifications. With the new update, you will be able to snooze them from the notification panel. When you swipe left or right, you will get a snoozing option beside of the settings. So if you're not ready to check your message or information, click that snoozing option, then choose how much time to hide it before it comes back again. 15 or 30 minutes or 1 or 2 hours. The third addition is about performing certain actions directly from the app icons. For certain supported apps, when you long press the icon from the home screen, you get some extra options to perform certain actions. For example, when you long press the Gmail icon app, you will get the option to directly compose an email or access one of your accounts. I have tried it with many apps. For example, the YouTube app will allow you to directly access your subscription feeds or search for videos. The Todoist app will suggest to you adding a task or view your today to do list. Many apps are supported while others are still not yet. You just get the usual long press options. Number 4 is new customization to the always on display. There are some added new clock formats along with some new colors that you can choose from. If you head to the settings, lock screen and security, clock and face widget, then clock style, there you can find some new clocks. I dig this one, which you can further customize by choosing some color options. Number 5 is new customizations to the edge lighting system. With Oreo, you get the same level of customization as the new Galaxy S9. You get to choose the light thickness and transparency, the notification color for each app, or to choose the multicolored notifications. To do so, just head to the settings, display, edge screen, edge lighting, then edge lighting style. There you can choose the effects, from basic to glow to multicolored notifications, or choose your favorite color from the available palette, or assign a color for each app. You can also define the transparency and the width of the light. Beside of the edge light color customization, you can also choose the colors of your folder. With the previous software, the colors were limited to couple ones. Now you can choose from a wide range of colors, while you can also set the transparency. To do so, just open the existing folder, tap the color on the right corner, then choose the palette, and there you can choose the color and transparency, to get something that looks like this folder. Always with customizations with the 7S feature. Now you get to further change the look of the notification on the lock screen. Things like transparency and showing or hiding the content. When going to the settings, lock screen and security, then notifications, you will find some settings to play with. Like the notification look and security if you want to hide the content when the phone is locked. Last but not least is Wi-Fi calling. I have not noticed this feature on the previous Android version. Now if you pull down the notification panel, you will find a shortcut called Wi-Fi calling. So depending on your mobile carrier and when activating this, you can make some free calls using your cell phone number. But of course, over Wi-Fi and not over your cellular network. 
Other improvements are also here, like the new support of high quality Bluetooth codecs like AAC and Sony LDAC, the look of the music player, the notifications look when pressing the upper screen, and the round icons without the white odd outline. So this was the list of the most important features you get with the Android Oreo update on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Hope you found this helpful, make sure to push that like button if you did, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and catch you guys in the next one.